So let's go down this way. Yeah. I'm still going to ignore this guy. Let's see if it's actually going to let me... It's literally a case saying, you cannot go that way. Is it going to let me go this way? That's a question. as far as the eye can see. We made it all the way to the other side. Did Melium come by this way? Yeah! I'm ready to go anytime. So, I'm actually going to go the intended route. Once that bugger's Mood. Which basically means we bug on the other side of the mountain is going to respawn as well. Yep. Best one, I'll just ignore you. I ignore you as well. Going to use Ormont Arts. Because I recognise this location from the prologue. Yeah. This is the area where Arian Rod and Co. were hanging about. You can see it there. What the hell is that statue, bro? My word. What the hell? <coughs> Brioni's Guardian. I heard stories when I was young, but... Even my Guardian isn't so little big. Group B told me about this a couple of years back. The design is actually a little different, but it's a lot like Nord's Guardian statue. It is. I would estimate it to be at least 80 arch high. Figures that many would want to investigate. Oh, look, there's the biggest ladder right there. How convenient. We should go up there and take a look around. As a tall ladder, everyone make sure you open to open your survival kits and show your wire hooks. Altona, can you get away ahead of us with Climb Soleil? You know, Musse, if the climb gets too intense for you, let me know, I'll give you a hand. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Me too, but thanks for the offer. I may say Shiva is dead. Don't worry, ladies, rich boy, he's, he's, got, he's got your back. Making fun of me, but you absolutely do the same if they need help.
Oh yes, I'm a damn peach. Includes you too, you know. Uh, so it is up here as well. How you doing there, Crimson Zekken? Climb slice, we're going ahead. I'll go up ahead. I will let you know if I see anything particularly dangerous on the way. Hmm. Feels like it's going to be some kind of cutscene just before I get to the top of a second ladder. Oh, cutscene here. You're doing well, not much further at the top. You're halfway up. Careful. Yeah. Oh, I found some treasure! Found a star garment. Who can equip it? Everybody can. It's got a huge amount of defense and art defense. Strength, art, speed. Oh, I actually realize that it's actually got a new um, coat for you guys. There. In fact, this uh, exclamation mark is right at the top of this ladder. I mean, she's going to see something before anybody else does. I don't see anything up here. Man, it's even more ridiculous up close. Been carved so elaborately. Must feel like the garden is made up of something different from the rocks around it. Hmm? Instructor? Nothing, it's just. I thought I sensed some sort of spiritual power. But I don't feel anything from this. It's like it's empty. What do you mean by that? Seriously? You buy into all this occult shit? Some things defy logic explanation. Ash. Celine. We're talking cat, for example. Yeah, if Emma and Celine were here, maybe we'd have a better idea of. Oh, again. What? Frozen in time. What happened? Who are you? <laughs> A pleasure to see you once more, Reen Schwarzer. You. You were a girl I met in the forest in Sutherland. But. Who are you really? And. Uh, how'd you know me? And. What does I see? You have resonated with the memory of this place. It would appear you are highly compatible with these memories. This is what allowed you to see Dreykel's memories in the spirit shrines during the Civil War. How 
How do you know about that? I would like to say I know all there is to know about you. However, that would be a lie. I was told I did not use magic to pry. But know that I could easily have done that if I so chose. Farsight and astral projection are not Vita's exclusive domain. You're a witch. What? Oh my, did I say that out loud? In any event, be sure you memorize every detail of this vision. In regard to the one you are searching for, the object that has been placed in your charge should prove useful just up ahead. Okay. <laughs> we will meet again. But before I go, I think I shall help myself to a bit. For the rope. Wait. I'll not wait. Vampire? Vicent. Hello, in instructor. What happened? N n nothing. It's, it's nothing. I remember things clearly this time. This isn't the first time this happened, is it? Oh, that's right, back in the forest in Sutherland. Anyone want to fill me in? It's got something to do with a weird power again? No, it's not that exactly, but I think we just got a little hint. So I can see there aren't any clues on Guardian proper. There's no doubt Million was investigating the area. Oh! Boot prints. Exactly, we should search the area. I want you to know it's a shrine. Take a look at this. That's the same quest we saw earlier. You're bearing the lead here. Check out those boot prints. Does that mean Minnie was here? I'd bet on it. I'll try using what I borrowed from Emma and Celine. Ah, it, it's shining. What's going on? There's some sort of spiritual aspect to his crest. This pendant's been imbued with Emma's Hexing Clan magic. This is what happens when two of them resonate with each other, apparently. Okay. Time hell out. Are you saying this occult bullshit isn't bullshit? It's clear Simon's Island contains some sort of secret. A secret Millie must have been searching for when she went missing. Perfect. What we've got to do is look for more crests and activate them. Keep doing that, we're sure to find something. Before we do that, instructor, I have to ask about that mark on your neck. Is that a bug bite? Um. No bug might leave a mark like that. He was probably having a little fun with those lovely little ladies last night. Lovely ladies? You mean Instructor Claire and Sarah? That might answer a mystery of why he smells like lavender too. First of all, no. And second, how long would a scent like that linger this long? So that sense lavender, huh? Instructor, trying to deny it really make it look more suspicious. Seriously, this is all a misunderstanding. I've only got eyes for one girl and it's not either of those. Okay, so we got one there. So the best way to do this will be to go back to the beach.
I'm going to double back at myself multiple times anyway, so... Oh, I can actually do this way. That's cool. Move to near Walter. I'll do that. This way I can go back here and rest up. Uh, can I trade? Don't know any of those peckers yet. Need heavy armor, need silver measure. On a break. I can golden bell from Golden Sphere, not really that useful. Interesting options here. Well, that was nothing new there, nope. Where can I go? So near altar near waterfall inside cavern it's going to basically warp to all these different points ah, what a passionate foe. I didn't actually intend to fight them but whatever I'll do it Flame, why not? Charging, yes. Huh? I'm up. Huh. Here I go. Art oh, flare butterfly, why not? Flame. Charging. I'm going. Fly butterfly. Let's go. It. Sit. It's down. It's mine. 
Attacking it. My turn. Yeah. Here I go. My turn. There. Let's go. Huh. All right. Nice work. Come on, level up. All right. Got it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I grew a little. I must train even. <laughs> Night. There. Well, that's the right button I want to press. I need to use the uh, pen and an eye. Ah, found one. That looks like one near the guardian, which would mean. It's shining again. Seriously, how are you doing, miss? Nothing's happening. Most likely need to activate all of them. Then, who knows what'll happen? We should keep exploring the island. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the altar. Because, again, might as well heal up my MP if I know that it's literally right there. Yeah. And that, I'm also going to end the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching. Join me again next time. Until then, bye bye.